Hello guys. Uh, Mr. Market Switch here. This is Mr. Market Switch. Nili waidi kwamba nitaanda clip ambayo inalenga hasa kwenye kuonyesha jinsi gani unaweza kufanya analysis kwa kutumia market maker method. Sasa nimegundua kwamba kuna watu wengi pamoja na kusoma lakini bado imekuwa changamoto jinsi gani ya kuapply kila ambacho anakisoma. Sasa kuna njia rais ambayo binafsi nimekuwa nahitumia na ambayo uh, naona imekuwa na impact kubwa ina inaraisishia kazi. So nafikiri ni vyema uh, tushirikishane kidogo ili uweze ku kuwa rais kwako. Kumbuka bado tunaendelea na huduma zetu, project zetu zingine. Tunatoa huduma ya signal, tunafanya free mentorship, tunafanya account management. Uh, na kwa sasa hivi kuna offer ambayo nimeitoa kwa wale watu ambao wanaweza kutafuta client wenye mitaji kuanzia dola laki moja kutakuwa na commission percentage ambayo atakuwa anapata yeye ambaye amemleta huyo mtu ambayo atakuwa anapata kila mwezi kwa hiyo commission itakuwa kila mwezi uh, kwa kwa kadri ambavyo ile account itakuwa bado under management ya kwangu na tutakuwa tunafanya kwa mfumo huo kwa hiyo kwa wewe ambaye unasikia hii fursa kwa mara ya kwanza Uh, unaweza ukawa wewe mwenye hauna huo mtaji wa dola laki moja lakini inawezekana kuna watu ambao potential unaweza kuwapata wenye mitaji ya dola laki moja kumbuka ni account management this is account management you don't give me your money nitakuelekeza utafungua account kwa broker mbaye najua atakuwa potential kwako utafungua account then you share your logins with me na inakuwa rais mimi kuendelea kufanya kazi tuta 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 uh, fanya agreement tu ya kawaida ya ya zile uh, Uh, profit sharing ambayo kimsingi ni 40 to 60%. You take 60% of the profit generated, I take 40% of the profit generated. Kwa hiyo guys, uh, kuna vitu vya msingi vya kuzingatia unapokuwa unaingia sokoni. Na hasa unapokuwa unafanya analysis kwa kutumia market maker method. Nimeona kuwa ni njia ni, 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 ni method ambayo inakuwa inakuwa much more perfect ama inakuwa na impact nzuri ukilinganisha na method nyingine ambazo nimekuwa nakizitumia kimsingi hii ndo price action halisi kwa sababu inakufanya uende sambamba eh, na, 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 na market makers au market movers wanavyo move the market kwa hiyo guys the first thing the first thing to consider kitu cha kwanza cha kuzingatia unapoingia sokoni is to select a pair na kwenye kuchagua pair lazima uchague pair ambayo umezingatia market switch theory. So market switch theory inakusaidia kuchagua uh, pair ambazo zipo kwenye movement ama zinaenda kwenye impact kubwa ya soko. Usiwe kachagua pair ambayo imetoka kwenye movement kubwa ya soko inakwenda kwenye waiting room, inakwenda kwenye consolidation. Kwa sababu kuna pair ambazo kabisa unaona kama zimesinzia wakati soko linakuwa kwenye pair zingine lina move vizuri. Kwa you need to select a pair uh, which is in a good movement is in a good movement imetoka kwenye consolidation inaenda kwenye movement nzuri ya soko okay kwa cha kwanza ni kuselect pair na sasa hivi hapa tayari nimechagua pair yangu ambayo ni Australian dollar Japanese yen Australian dollar Japanese yen ndio pair ambayo nitakwenda kuitumia na ambayo tutakwenda kuifanya uh, kama mfano wetu leo hii tu inatosha the uh, uh, pair moja tu inatosha kusaidia kuelewa kile ambacho nataka ukielewe lakini kitu cha pili cha kuzingatia uh, use daily chart to identify high of the day and low of the day use daily chart to identify high of the day and low of the day sasa mimi natumia broker ambaye tayari uh, mimi siku tu kiisha anakuwa tayari ame locate high of the day na low of the day au wakati soko linaendelea anakuwa anaendelea kuonyesha zile locations high of the day and low of the day ili kukusaidia kufahamu Uh, uh, opportunity ambazo zina rise in the market. Kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa hapa nitatumia uh, nitatumia nitatumia trend line uh, au nitatumia horizontal line kwa identify zile how the day and low of the day. Na tunaangalia unapokuwa unaenda kwa identify how the day and low of the day, unaangalia the previous candle 
jinsi ilivyofunga. Kwa hiyo kwa mfano hapa nachukua hii horizontal line ya kwangu. Ninakuja hapa. Ninaangalia the peak ya previous candle. Peak ya previous candle. Unaangalia kwenye ile peak kabisa. Naomba ni ni expand. Unaangalia kwenye ile peak kabisa ya week. Kwa hiyo pale ya previous kumbuka previous candle ya kwetu ni hii kwa maana ya siku ya jana. Kwa hiyo unatumia candle ya jana kwa identify kuonyesha au kutambua zile high of the day. Kwa this was high of the day. Na low of the day ya previous candle ni hii hapa. Ile peak ile week kabisa pale kwenye low. Kwa we have high of the day. We have high of the day which is this one and we have low of the day which is this one. Sasa what is the significance of identifying how the day and low of the day? Hii inakusaidia kuweza kutazama opportunity kwa uraisi zaidi. How? Kwa sababu tunafahamu the concept behind high of the day and low of the day is the market tends to move most of time 75 to 95%. The market tends to move between high of the day and low of the day. Kwa hiyo lazima uangalie hiyo. Ndio maana unaona hata hii kendo lianza leo. Ina move from low of the day kwenda kwenye high of the day. Hata kama haitafika hapa lakini kwa kujua tu hii concept ya uh, uh, movement ya soko toko high of the uh, low of the day kwenda high of the day or high of the day kwenda low of the day inakusaidia kuweza kupata opportunity hata ya 50 50% ya previous day. Sio kama naeleweka hapa. Kwa hiyo sasa baada ya kumaliza hiyo eh naomba ni mask dogo baada ya kumaliza hiyo what next what next is kwa hiyo tunarudi kwenye sasa tunarudi nyuma kwenye 4 hour time frame the next point is check the market levels and the reversal patterns on 4 hours time frame check the market levels and the reversal patterns on 4 hours time frame kwa hiyo tunarudi kwenye 4 hours time frame Tunarudi kwenye 4 hours time frame. So this is our 4 hours time frame. Naomba ni minimize zaidi. This is our 4 hours time frame. That's better. So, kwenye 4 hours time frame tunangalia nini? Tunangalia market levels and the reversal patterns. Kwa hii setup yetu imekaa vizuri sana. Vizuri sana. Kumbuka hizi ambazo tumechora, this is high of the day ya previous market. Na hii, this is the law of the day of the previous market. Kumbuka tulichora kwenye daily candlestick. Sawa? Ama kwenye daily time frame. Now, ukija kwenye 4 hour utaona movement ya jana ilivyokuwa from this highest point to this lowest point. Na movement ya leo imeanza from this lowest point now it is somewhere maybe 50% ya previous movement ya, ya, ya movement ya jana 50%. Na ndiko mali soko liko sasa hivi. Kwa hiyo sio ajabu ulikija ile kahiti kwenye the previous high. Sio ajabu kwa sababu tayari tunafahamu concept behind high of the day and low of the day kwamba soko lina move between low of the day and high of the day or between high of the day and low of the day. Kwa hiyo sasa kwenye 4 hours time frame tunakwenda kutazama picha kubwa ya soko. Picha kubwa ya soko. Hapa tulikuwa tunatazama daily movement tu. Lakini kwenye 4 hours tunaangalia picha kubwa ya soko na tunaangalia zile levels za market makers na zile movement zao so guys now i want to take you to this point where you can see a big picture of this market kabla ya, ya kutazama hii movement hapa hii movement hapa tu, tuangalie hii movement hapa kwa nini soko hapa lilitengeneza hii movement kuna kitu gani kilitokea huku nyuma hmm? Kuna kitu gani kilitokea huko nyuma ama kuna kitu gani kilifanya hii movement ya hapa ikatokea ikatengeneza level 1 level 2 level 3 Kuna kitu gani kilitokea Ukitaka kujua hii movement isababishwa na nini angalia previous movement ambayo ni hii hapa Angalia previous movement ambayo ni hii hapa Sawa sawa Ukiangalia hapa kuna hichi kitu tunachokiona hapa Kila movement inasababishwa na previous movement previous behavior of the market Sasa tunataka tuangalie Behavior ya hii soko hapa ilisababishwa na behavior ipi ya soko huku nyuma. Kwa tunapochora tunaona hapa soko litengeneza like triple top. Hmm? You can consider this like triple top. Top 1, top 2, top 3. Na hizi tunazita triple top lakini kwa 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 kwa, kwa lugha ya market makers 
tunasema this uh, this were uh, stop hunt they were stop hunt how how were this stop hunt you see the market went up to this level and it was moved down it was moved down ikatengeneza like m pattern this one ikatengeneza like m pattern here so once it created this kind of m pattern uh, it w also went down it also went down down and here at this candle hii candle nyekundu hapo unaiona hii kuna watu now they were thinking it's now a bearish market and they started selling at this candle after this pullback here after this pullback here naona hii candle iliyomenywa so when this candle started and started going down now people were thinking now this is a this is a bearish market so there are people who went in here start selling selling at this candle and the next candle and the next candle went up a little bit and now when the other candle started remember the, kuna watu bado walikuwa sokoni hapo wakiwa wanafikiri it's a bearish market when the other candle started you see what happened the candle moved up very fast very fast and it make it look like it is a breakout a breakout of this resistance here this one they make it look like it was a breakout let me extend this a little bit yes here kwa walifanya ionekane kama ni breakout hapa you see this week kumbuka this is a stop hunt which means wakati watu wako short hapa wako wako, wako, wako short hapa kwa maana kwamba wameseli hapa there are a lot of people who put their stop loss kuna watu wengi waliweka stop loss zao above this resistance above this resistance so na wao walijua kabisa kuna watu wako short hapa kwa sababu walikuwa kutengenezea a kind of m pattern and umeshajifunza kwenye kwenye nani kwenye 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 market maker theory market maker methods kwamba ukiona hichi kitu then take a second leg with confidence but when you take the second leg with confidence you must think you must think about triple top because this is now this is now uh, like an m pattern but you must think about the other triple top kwa hiyo market maker wana njia nyingi na unaona kabisa hii hii top ya pili hapa haikufika hata huku juu kwenye karibili ya kwanza kwa hiyo hii hapa hii hapa haikuwa very legit lakini pia kitu ambacho huwa nawaambia watu usipende kuchukua mguu wa pili aggressively yani wakati unaanza tu ukaingia sokoni it's better you take you wait until the first level is is done then take enter enter at the pullback of the first level first level unavyofanya pullback kutoka kwenye ile pullback sasa ndio uingie kwa hiyo wewe unaanza ku trade kwenye wakati uh, soko linatengeneza level ya pili usi trade wakati soko linatengeneza level ya kwanza trade wakati soko linatengeneza level ya pili baada ya kufanya pullback from the first level I'll show you how it is. So, my friends, my friends. There are people who were stopped here. Kuna stop loss za watu zililiwa hapa. Kwa hii kendo iliyopanda hapa juu. Na walifanya hii purposefully. Lakini kuna watu ambao walikuwa wajaingia sokoni. Baada ya kuona hii breakout hapa, wakafikiri now it's time to buy. Kwa kuna watu walianza kubai au walikuwa wameweka uh, pending order kwa maana ya, ya buy stop order above this resistance thinking that after breakout it will continue buying going up. See what happened. Baada ya kufanya false breakout ikaimenya ile kendo, ikaimenya na the other kendo zingine zikashuka na sikawa pull watu wa, watu waliokuwa wameingia waliweka pending order za kubai hapa na pengine wakaika stop loss wakafikiri wameka mbali labda wakaika huku kendo nyingine zilishuka zikaja zikawatoa sokoni kwa hiyo sellers hawako sokoni buyers hawako sokoni wameshaliwa wote kwa hiyo tuna, tuna tayari market maker wamekusanya contract za kutosha tayari wana liquidity ya kutosha so what they are doing waka push back kumbuka wakati hawa wana, hawa ambao walikuwa hapa 
hapa juu waliokuwa wako long hapa juu wanaondolewa na hizi kendo kuna watu ambao tayari kwa hizi kendo zinavyoshuka hapa kuna watu ambao sasa wanasema now it's a bearish market kwa sababu kuna wengine walisema wali ama walitafsiri kama hii ni breakout kwenda chini kwa hii kendo kwa unaweza kuona haijalishi uwe nani uwe nani utapigwa tu utapigwa tu usiposingatia taratibu za market maker utapigwa tu guys so you better understand this concept very very clearly very very clearly kwa sababu ukienda na concept ya breakout ama mtu anasema kwamba na trade natumia tu support na resistance naenda kwa zone mtu aliyekuwa anakwenda kwa zone hapa alipigwa aliyekuwa anakwenda kwa zone hapa alipigwa aliyekuwa na trade breakout hapa alipigwa aliyekuwa na trade breakout hapa alipigwa kwa hiyo wanatumia zile knowledge ambazo tunazo wanatumia zile knowledge ambazo tunazo na wanatumia wana hizo kukupiga kwa you have to be very careful na hichi ninachokwenda kufundisha ni kitu ambacho kitakwenda kukusaidia ndugu yangu and you better listen to me very careful i don't want you to repeat the same mistakes once you understand and you master this concept please don't do don't repeat the mistake please please and please and please and please you see hao watu ambao walikuwa wameenda wamefikiri this is now a breakout waka place orders za kutosha hapa wakaweka position zao see what happened the market behaved a, a little uh, for few pips eh unaona likwenda pips kadhaa like 20 23 pips and see what happened thereafter boom me pull me pull back na kumbuka watu waliweka uh, orders zao hapa za kuseli kuna uwezekano mkubwa waliweka stop loss huko juu and see what happened see what happened see what happened okay let me tell you something else kuna watu ambao wanatrade without stop loss they think they are uh, they are safe angalia hichi hapa angalia hichi hapa afu angalia hii level hapa i put it very clear Yes. Okay. So if you see if you look very careful at this level and when you watch careful you look careful at this level there is something you can learn from it. There are people who were long when this candle went up. Pengine hawakuweka stop sasa ni wale naongelea wale ambao hawakuweka stop loss maana yake hazikuja kuwa heated when this candle went down wakitegemea kwamba soko litarudi 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 okay soko limerudi ndio lakini halikuzidi level hii iko chini ya hii level liko chini ya hiyo level hapo juu a little bit why ili mtu aliyeingia hapa ili mtu aliyeingia hapa na kwa sababu kuna volume za, za watu sokoni kuna 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 uhakika mkubwa kabisa kwamba inawezekana walileta hii soko mpaka hapo akijua kuna watu waliweka order zao maeneo haya. Kwa hawakuweza kurudisha soko kuzidi hii level ili kutokuruhusu wale ambao walikuwa trapped hapa kutokuruhusu waingie kwenye profit kwa sababu wangeingia kwenye profit pengine wangeondoka sokoni. So they will not allow that. Watahakikisha utabaki kuwa kwenye loss ili waendelee kukupiga vizuri. Na but, uh, but, but kwa wale watu ambao walikuwa na bahati nzuri kama soko lirudi mpaka hapa akaamua kufunga na kuondoka sokoni alikuwa safe kwa sababu kama hakuondoka sokoni ndugu yangu look at this what happened and here is where now i'm going to talk about uh, what i just said about level 1 level 2 level 3 so this things here zote hizi zilikuwa ni hunt 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 na hizi naweza nikazita triple top baada ya kuformu hizi triple top unaona hapa imetengeneza imetengeneza uh, like like a pin bar it's a bearish it's a bearish spinning top hapa 
na bahati nzuri imetokea kwenye foa ukiona soko limekamilisha kumbuka hapa litengeneza litengeneza hizi litengeneza topu ya kwanza topu ya pili lakini lilipokuja kutengeneza level 1 lipo, soko lilipokuja kutengeneza level 1 kwenye ile pullback ya level 1 ile pullback ya level 1 haikuruhusu kutengeneza level 2 Sawa sawa. Kwa hiyo sasa, kwa hiyo sasa, kama wewe uliingia hapa, uliingia hapa, ukifikiri kwamba soko litamalita uh, alitatengeneza uh, uh, another top, kama uliingia hapa. Stop loss yako ulipaswa kuiweka kuiweka above the previous hand. Sawa sawa. The previous hand. Hapa this was not a previous hand kwa sababu hapa ndio soko liko lataanza kutengeneza pattern. Kwa hiyo uweze kuconsider hii kama previous hand. Sawa sawa. And wakati soko linashuka hapa kutengeneza hichi kitu. Usinge ingia hapa at this point kwa sababu bado haijamaliza kutengeneza level 1. This thing here hapa yawezekana ingekuwa very convincing ni kwamba imemaliza kutengeneza level 1. Kwa hiyo nilipofanya pullback kwa sababu nimesha kuambia kwamba utaingia uh, kwenye level ya pili wakati nimefanya pullback kuna watu wengi sana waliingia hapa hapa kwenye hii kendo nyekundu inaoshuka hii kuna watu wengi waliingia hapa kwa nini kwa sababu walikuwa convinced kwamba tayari nimemaliza level 1 sasa nimefanya pullback sasa ninatenda kutengeneza level 2 kwa waliingia hapa kwa hiyo nina advice kwamba kama utaingia kama uh, hao walioingia hapa stop loss ungetakiwa kuiweka above this kwa nini kwa sababu Wanapo, kama unafanya hanti nyingine kama hii hawataruhusu kuja ku 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 ku, 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 ku hawa ama kuwafanya hawa waingie kwenye profit. Kwa hiyo hii plus yako itakuwa safe na itakuwa correct. Kwa hiyo hata kama utakuwa kwenye loss hapa endelea ku hold, endelea ku hold kwa sababu soko lita behave sometimes soon. Na hapo unaona kabisa lishatengeneza, lishatengeneza hii pin bar, uh, spin top. Kwa hiyo limebehave ime behave vizuri kabisa. Kwa hiyo kama ulikuwa umeingia hapa, manake kutoka kwenye half of this candle utakuwa tayari una uko kwenye profit 54 pips profit. Lakini pia kwa mtu ambaye alilikuta soko tayari limetengeneza topu ya kwanza, topu ya pili na topu ya tatu, akalikuta liko maeneo haya. Akaona limeshamaliza hapa, manake alikuwa anaingia very aggressively, confidently kwa sababu soko limeshamaliza uh, three tops. Kwa hiyo kama limemaliza three tops halina namna lazima lishuke kwa sababu tuna pattern uh, uh, za aina aina tatu kubwa ambazo tunazitumia kuna double double top uh, triple top head and shoulder kwa maana ya bearish uh, patterns ambazo ni uh, famous zaidi kwa hiyo hapa hatuna uh, hatuna 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 top nne tuna top tatu ambazo ndio tunazitumia kwenye soko la forex kwa hiyo guys hapa ungeweza kuingia confidently na ukaanza movement na hii wala usingesubiria hii uh, hii pullback ya level 1. Kwa hiyo hii ni level 1 ya triple top. Level 1 lakini pia ikafanya pullback kwa watu ambao not aggressive ongeza kuingia kwenye hii pullback, kwenye hii level hapa, ongeza kuingia hapa. Tengeza level 2. So this is level 2. Level 2. Thereafter ikafanya pullback hapa, imefanya pullback hapa, imetengeneza level 3. This is level 3. Right. So baada ya level 3 tunaona kuna uh, sasa inatengeneza reversal pattern ya kugeuza soko. Imeanza kutengeneza reversal pattern ya kugeuza soko. Ilichukua muda mrefu sana na inawezekana ilichukua siku nyingi sana mpaka kukamilisha hii kitu. Lakini kwa trader ambaye alianza movement hapa mpaka hapa atatambua kabisa kwamba it will take time for this market to behave ili kufanya correction ya hii movement. This is the correction. What you see here is the correction of the previous movement down. Sawa so, sawa. So, so. hii ni reversal pattern. As you can see. Hii ni reversal pattern. Na hii ni W pattern ambayo unaiona hapa chini. Sio sio kwamba lazima W pattern ionekane iko iko very very smart lakini cha msingi ionekane ile pattern ile pattern ionekane so you can see something like this guys you can see something like this
All right. Kumbuka we are looking at the big picture of the market. Na kwenye hii W pattern kubwa ambayo tunaiona kuna pattern nyingine ambazo ziko ndani humo. Kuna pattern nyingine ambazo ziko ndani. Kwa mfano hapa unaweza kaona kuna kuna hii inverse head and shoulder. Kuna inverse head and shoulder. Tungekuwa tunatazama kwenye small time frame tungeona kwa uzuri zaidi. Kwa hiyo this is the head, this is the one shoulder, this is the other shoulder. Kwa hiyo hizo that is what I call inverse of head and shoulder. Ni pattern ndani ya pattern. Lakini tukikonsider hii hii pattern kubwa W pattern unaweza kaona this is the level 1. Sawa sawa? And this is the level 2. This is the level 3. Then reverse pattern down. Kwa hiyo kila kila soko likimaliza three levels linatengeneza reverse pattern. Alafu soko linageuka. Kwa hiyo hapa tunaona litengeneza reverse pattern ya triple top. Soko limegeuka how many levels? Level 1, level 2, level 3. So it, the market must push three levels. Alafu litatengeneza three, litatengeneza reverse pattern as you can see here. Alafu lita push three levels uh, the other side. So level 1, level 2, level 3. Baada ya kumaliza level 3 na kukamisha level 3, limetengeneza reverse patterns. Limetengeneza reverse pattern. Na hapo limeanza kupush, limeshamaliza level 1. Kwa hapa linafanya pullback, then tutakwenda level 2, level 3 kufanya correction ya hii market. Kwa hiyo hii 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 hi, hi, hi pea ya UDJPY ambayo tuna analyze ni pea ambayo pia itakupa opportunity. Kwa hiyo inakupa pia signal ya maana mahali hapa. So, baada ya kukamilisha level 3 down, reverse pattern level 1, level 2, level 3. Na jinsi gani tunahesabu hizi level? Do you see this? This is the reverse pattern. Sawa sawa? Mguu wa pili unapoanza wa kutengeneza W pattern. Ndio tunaanza kuhesabu. Na ile level inayokuja mpaka kwenye neckline. Ile level ya kwanza inayokuja mpaka kwenye uh, ile movement ya kwanza inakuja mpaka kwenye neckline kabla ya pullback. Neckline. Where is neckline? Our neckline is here. Kwa level ambayo imekuja mpaka kwenye neckline ni hii kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Hii ndo tuna regard as level 1. Sawa sawa. Ndo tuna regard as level 1. Baada ya level 1 huwa kuna tengenezwa kitu kinachoitwa V pattern. V pattern ambayo tunaiona hapa. Hii V pattern unaona baada ya kukamilika hapa. Imekuwa sababu ya kutengeneza sasa level level 2 kwa level 1 this is the level 1 then v pattern then v pattern inakuwa sababu sasa ya ku, ya, ku, ya kutengeneza level 2 so level 2 then pull back level two, level 3 kwa hiyo endapo wewe ume, umechelewa ukakuta soko labda linafanya pull back wait wait mimi hapa natumia moving average uh, 20 pamoja na na 50 mara nyingi huwa naingia kwenye pullback ambayo inafanyika kwenye moving average 20 pamoja na 50. Kwa hiyo inawezekana soko nikilikuta kwenye moving average 20 naweza ngaingia kwa sababu distance ya kutoka kwenye 20 mpaka kwenye 50 sio mbali. Kwa hiyo hata kama itaja kwenye loss kidogo, pullback ija kufanya kwa kwenye 50 badala ya 20 haitanisumbua. Kwa hiyo nikikuta pull nikikuta pullback inafanyika, mimi nitakuja naweka uh, na, 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 naingia kwenye pullback ambayo itafanyika kwenye moving average 20 then naingia kwa maana ya kubai. Kwa mfano hapa ningeingiza order yangu kwenye hii kendo. Baada ya hii kendo kufunga kwenye kendo inayofuata ya pili yake. Hmm? Let me show you. Let me show you. Yu ningeingia wapi? So this is level 1. So unaona pull back Do you see this candle? This is a pin bar. Mimi hii inge hii tu kwa kuona hii pin bar hapa ingenipa ujasiri wa kuingia. Yaani ingeingia hata list hata na hii candle ingekuwa imeshafika half au ningekuwa nimeweka pending ni order yangu ningekuwa nimeweka pending ni order yangu above the high of the pin bar. Hapa. Ningekuwa nimeweka pending ni order yangu ya buy stop wakati hii kendo yenyewe bado iko hii hapa wakati bado iko kuchini ningekuwa nimeweka pending order yangu hapa high above the high of this p 
spin bar here or this spin top ningekuwa nimeka pendi noda yangu ya buy stop hapa kwa nini kwa sababu nafahamu tayari ina bounce kwenye uh, 20 moving average kwa hiyo once it comes up sitaki ingia kwenye loss you see the movement kwa hiyo kutoka hapo inatengeza movement inatengeza movement ya pips ngapi tuna pips tuna pips kama 170 up kwenye level 2 baada ya level 2 ikafanya pullback a little bit kind of pullback pull hii pullback haikuja haikuja kwenye 20 moving average tungeweza kuconsider vitu vingine kama uh, kama support like this one kwamba kulikuwa kuna support hapa kwa hiyo inawezekana ilikuja ikabounce kwenye support then ikaja ikatengeneza level level 3 baada ya level 3 soko liligeuka mara moja kwa sababu ni 4 hour usingeweza kuona sababu ya hii soko geuka hapa lakini tukirudi kwenye small, uh, small time frame tunaweza kugundua kwa nini soko liligeukia hapa kuna uhakika kabisa kwamba kutakuwa kuna reverse pattern kwenye small time frame ndio maana soko likageuka lakini that is not an issue kwa sababu sisi tunaangalia picha kubwa tutasubiri tutasubiri kwa sababu level 3 ungeweza kuingia for short time lakini a sure trade ya kutek ni baada ya kukamilisha uh, mguu wa kwanza na kutengeneza hii uh, 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 kwenda kutengeneza mguu wa pili baada ya hapo sasa hapa 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 ndo ungeingia kwa ujasiri kwa nini kwa sababu imesha kuonyesha kwamba ni this is the m pattern so this is top one this is second top kwa hiyo hapo ungeweza kuingia kwa ujasiri kwa ajili ya kuja kutengeneza level one thereafter unasubiri uh, pull back level three na ku, uh, level two and three na kuendelea so guys kwa hiyo kipengele cha tatu check the market levels and the reversal patterns on four hour time frame inakwenda katika mfumo huo kwa hiyo tumeangalia levels tumeangalia na reversal patterns ambazo zinatengenezwa kwa hiyo tunaweza tukaona jinsi gani ya kutazama opportunity katika mfumo mfumo rahisi sana ambao utakusaidia lakini baada ya hapo sasa baada ya hapo sasa kipengele cha nne locate the levels and the reversal pattern tumesha locate reversals na uh, na uh, levels tumesha locate pamoja na reversal patterns ambazo ndio hizi kwa so this one here is an m pattern that one is an m pattern see So what the other point the other point is locate intraday cycle on 15 minutes time frame sasa hapa tumeshamaliza kwenye 4 hour kwa tunafahamu kwamba now it is a downtrend kwa nini kwa sababu tayari imeshatengeneza reversal pattern kwa hiyo inaenda kutengeneza downtrend downtrend yenye level ngapi downtrend yenye level tatu kwenda chini sawa sawa guys kwa kwa, kwa hiyo kwa sababu tayari tunajua ni downtrend opportunity tutakazoziangalia kwenye Audi JPY Achana na hii ambayo ina buy. Opportunity ambayo tuzaangalia sure opportunity ni zile za kufanya nini? Ni zile za kusell. Ndio zitakuwa sure opportunity. Pamoja na kwamba sometimes kuna kubai ndani yake lakini ambazo tutaziangalia ambayo ni sure opportunity ni zile za kufanyaje? Ni zile za kusell. So we go back to 15 minutes time frame ambayo ndio itakuwa entry entry yetu ya soko na ndio mali ambako tutakuwa tunaingia. Kumbuka uh, sorry nimeondoa kitu cha muhimu sana. Kumbuka zile high, uh, high of the day na low of the day hatuziondoi za previous tunaendelea kuziacha kwa sababu zitatusaidia kuangalia soko kwenye kuangalia intraday cycles kwenye kwenye 15 minutes time frame tunaziacha sorry niliziondoa kwa baada ya hichi kitu then you can see uh, this point here ili ni soko la, la, la uh, ili, ili ni soko la jana ili ni soko la la jana naomba ni weke alama vizuri kabisa hapa ili ieleweke ili ni soko la jana this is the yesterday market lianzie hapa alright so and it was a bearish market Okay, I was supposed to put uh, I was supposed to put uh, what? The one which is moving uh, with the uh, with the chart. So we will put A and uh, All right. 
Kwa hiyo hapa unaweza kuona uh, hii ni meka A ambayo inaenda na soko, inatembea na soko. Kwa hiyo hii itakuwa inaenda na soko. So guys this point soko lilifungua hapa siku ya jana so likashuka katengeneza this kind uh, top 1 kashuka katengeneza top ya pili then this is intraday cycle kwa hiyo imetengeneza to, uh, two top kwa maana ya siku ya jana this was high of the day high of the day of yesterday market kwa hiyo uh, and this high of the day of the yesterday market ukaona ikashuka kwanza kashuka uh, pili kafanya kind of solidation here lakini ikaja ikashuka ikakamilisha kwa hiyo hapa this is the law of the day this is the law of the day this one here is the law of the day na unaweza kaona kwenye law of the day kwenye intraday cycle kwa nini soko sasa hivi lina buy kwa sababu kwenye law of the day ya intraday cycle tunaona kuna reversal pattern hapa ambayo ni inverse head and shoulder imetokea kwenye law of the day kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anajua concept ya uh, masuala ya high of the day na law of the day alipokuja kwenye 15 minutes time frame akakuta uh, kuna inverse head and shoulder kwenye law of the day law of the day akakuta kuna hii kitu kwenye law of the day maana yake nini maana yake ni kwamba alichukua hii trade from this point from this point kwenye second shoulder hapa inawezekana alipanda na hii au aliingilia maeneo hayo hayo kwa sababu maana ya kuzingatia shoulder ya kwanza hapa level zile kwa hiyo ame push mara ya kwanza juu ame push mara ya pili and this time around ina push kumbuka hii ni live guys this is the live market and you can see the market is moving so hii ina push mara ya tatu na lazima ita push mara ya tatu hii mara ya tatu inawezekana ikaja up to the high the previous high of the day ambako ndo ndo, ndo highest point ama the highest target of the day kabla ya ku reverse kabla ya ku reverse ili kuja ku, uh, ku, ku reverse ili kuja ku behave kutengeneza level 2 sawa so, sawa so. kwa uwezekana ikaenda pa kwenye high of the day ama ikaishia kwenye uh, uh, kwenye 50 level of the high of the day 50 50% uh, movement ya high, the, uh, ya, ya uh, previous high of the day kwa maana ya previous candle alafu ika reverse kutengeneza level 2 uh, kutengeneza level 2 kwa ajili ya ku behave kulingana na levels ambazo tumezihesabu kwenye 4 hours time frame. So guys, this is how you analyze the market. This is how you analyze the market. Ukisha fahamu market makers method, unaweza ukachukua opportunity, uka trade hata pullback kama hii, una trade. Una trade hata hii. Kumbuka Audi JPY tuna, tunaona hapa ina buy lakini opportunity trend yake ni down trend. Kwa nini watu wengi wao wanakosea, wanajikuta kwenye loss kubwa? Unakuta ana take trade kama hii, inampa hela tu leo anaeka position nyingi akiamini kwamba this is uh, the pair to make a fortune lakini inapokuja kugeuka anashanga kwa nini imegeuka kwa nini kwa sababu ulikuwa ufahamu ni trend ya soko ni ipi trend ya soko ni down trend hapa ilikuwa nafanya pullback tu na ilikuwa na movement kubwa unaona na inawezekana imekupa hela nzuri kwa sababu kutoka hapo mpaka hapa kutoka hapo mpaka hapa hapo ilipo sasa hivi ni pips kama 559 kwa lo size ya moja ni dola 590. Kwa mtu ambaye hajaku tenda dola 590 akawa amewahi hii, atakuwa naona kwamba tayari ameshajua trading strategy kubwa duniani ya kutrade. Lakini kwa sababu alikuwa hafahamu levels zinavyokwenda. Soko ndakapomgeukia ndipo atakapoanza kulia. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu alikuwa hafahamu trend ya soko ni ipi. This is a downtrend market, guys. This is the downtrend market. So I hope by now umeshaelewa kitu kikubwa ambacho tunachangalia. Kwa hiyo what is the intraday cycle? Kwenye 15 minutes time frame. Intraday cycle ni ndo hizi sasa. Intraday cycle. Soko lime, 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 limetoka kwenye uh, this point, limetengeneza 3 pushes down, baada ya kumaliza 3 pushes down, intraday cycle nyingine imeanza 3 pushes up. 3 pushes up na hii reversal pattern ya inverse head and shoulder ina push mara ya kwanza mara ya pili. Sasa hii ni intraday. Kwa mtu ambaye ana trade kwa siku, anaingia sokoni siku moja na 
So kwa mtu ambaye ana hold kwa mtu ambaye ana hold ana uwezo ni vizuri azingatie azingatie 4 four, four hours lazima azingatie 4 hours azingatie 4 hours 4 hours kwa sababu yeye anaweza ka hold kwa muda mrefu mtu ambaye ni swing trader yawezekana mpaka sasa hivi yupo sokoni japokuwa ina ina buy kwa nini kwa sababu anaamini itaendelea ita kuseli kutengeza level 2 na uh, level 2 na level 3 lakini kwa mtu ambaye hafahamu hii akiona hichi kitu anaona kama soko linaenda kwenye hasara which is not so guys you better watch this this is the very important thing to learn and it can help you guys so i believe up to this moment tumekuwa na presentation nzuri uh, sorry uh, nilipata changamoto kidogo hapa uh, uh, nilishiwa na moto kidogo kwenye computer ndio maana nikaa nimetoka lakini i hope hakuna kilichoharibika so guys thank you very much issue ya intraday cycle tutaizungumza zaidi kwenye uh, uh, videos zinazofuata asante god bless you welcome to global market fx